Oh, look at that. Pillow with another good jump. Look at Scott Dixon in the orange and blue to the outside. And Roman Grosjean's going to try to stuff it inside McLaughlin. Will we get through here cleanly? We will not. Callum Eilat on the back of Kyle Kirkwood. Big, Incident number one. Big rear wing damage on Kyle Kirkwood, but you can see Eilat there in the tire. The yellow flag is not yet waving as we're seeing side-by-side -side action into five. There's the caution flag. McLaren side-by-side -side through there. What a shame for Hulko's Hollinger's Callum Eilat. What happened? What caused him to climb up? Front wing damage, you guys. Lee, there's a massive bump. Driver's right going into turn three that you cannot avoid on a start when you're on the outside. It wouldn't surprise me if Callum Eilat got heavy into that bump, locked up his front tires, and went skidding into the back of Kyle Kirkwood. Yeah, you gotta remember as you're practicing around this track, and it is the first time we've raced here, so not a lot of experience. We see Kyle Kirkwood now peel into that split pit lane for some hefty repairs to the number 27 AutoNation machine. Let's have a look at what transpired between Callum Eilat, Kyle Kirkwood. Look in that second, that higher line to your left. Further back, you're going to see the bright pink AutoNation Honda, the green and black Hunkos Hollinger car. It's about to come into shot on the right. Bang. Callum Eilat's day is over just as it began.